Hi, my name is Pavel Zoch and I have created a tutorial for CMA VFX. This tutorial is based on the real life version using of the sculpting tools of the Cinema 4D. It was probably the most important feature in the Cinema 4D US 14. A little bit about myself and an official Cinema 4D local evangelist and generalist. I've been part of the official Cinema 4D support for Czech and Solar Republics for more than 10 years. I've written hundreds of articles on Cinema 4D, recorded hundreds of hours video tutorial, and I helped to code a Czech version of Cinema 4D as well. You can know my work from the official Cinema 4D webpage, brochures, and other maximum promotional stuff as well. About the lesson. Again, I believe the sculpting toolset of the Cinema 4D was probably the most important feature of the release 14. It's the first internal implementation of the technology, but it's pretty solid and well integrated already. It's not only a feature for sculpting details and painting. If you add the sculpting tools to your workflow, you'll find it can make your modeling very flexible and really fast. Simply put, I think it is the best feature for everyone who needs to make his own organic models with correct topology suitable for advanced animations and so on. Sculpting in Cinema 4D is a magic feature that can eliminate one of two major modeling tasks. The standard modeling approach needs correct and well applied topology for a nice model. The sculpting context makes work much easier because you can be creative first, design your character and then solve the topology accordingly to the shape of the character afterwards. Being able to disregard topology concepts under the model is complete is a huge advantage for artists. This new Maxon Cinema 3 sculpting lesson will change the way you view modeling. This first volume of two covers all of the primary sculpting tests in production. By the end of volume 1, we will fully understand the sculpting layout, layers manager, sculpting tools, subdivision settings and so on. This volume demonstrates all settings and options of every tool in the sculpting context. This is the crucial part of the volume. Of course. The second portion of this lesson is a bit different. The key to an effective modeling process is the topology. We will learn how to sculpt main shape of a very complex object of the North American dinosaur named Pachycephalosaurus. So, the inspiration behind the project is very simple. My almost 4 years old son has a toy model of this dino. We will build the main shape of the dino from several very simple objects. The topology will be not important for this first step. In this workflow, only the main shape of the dino is of concern. This is the magic of the approach that can change your modeling, as we said before. The fifth part of the volume covers all red topology techniques that Cinema 4D offers. Cinema 4D does not have a special red topology toolset. However, it has many very powerful deformers and features. Clever use of them can make the job of red topology simple. The result of the fifth step is a really very well prepared object with correct topology, suitable for final sculpting, painting, rigging, animation and so on. Something that can take a lot of time and need a lot of experience. The Cinema 4D sculpting can reduce the work to only a fraction. Before the end of the lesson, we will finish the model and prepare a correctly UV match with the Cinema 4D body paint 3D layout. The Dino model will be ready. Ready for everything. Almost everybody thinks about sculpting as a stand-alone modeling process. That's outside a standard workflow. You will see, sculpting is really the key to a new modeling dimension inside of Cinema 4D. Thank you for watching and please join me over at CMI VFX for this first part of the full volume workshop.